Elon Musk is well versed with all the developments that take place in the world of technology. So, any new invention or discovery that's out in the market, Elon Musk uses it to benefit as many companies. That's how he came to know of the Giga Press, and that has been a total game changer for Tesla. Let's take a quick look at the majestic piece of equipment that Elon Musk uses to manufacture his Tesla cars, and one that has been a truly optimal solution to the car manufacturing process. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The game-changing Gigapress is quite a lifesaver for Tesla and has given it a pristine location in the automobile market. The Gigapress is a metal caster that an Italian company Idra produces. Elon Musk has been a loyal customer of this company and has purchased many of its products over time. In fact, many of his orders are still being manufactured by them. This electric machine comes in different models and varies mainly based on the clamping force that they come with. As of now, the machines have helped Tesla make 56,000 units of their vehicles. According to Elon Musk's plans, this number still needs improvement, and that's why Idra has come up with a new model to help improve Elon Musk's target. Let's take a quick look at the different gigapresses that Idra has been providing Tesla with for quite a few years now. The first is Tesla's 6,000-ton gigapress. The machine that Tesla is currently using for chassis production is the 6,000-ton Gigapress. To fully produce a chassis, around 70 different parts are required to be assembled and bolted carefully, which increases the cost and production time. But with Gigapress, all that's out of the picture, and only chassis part joints the front and rear end are required to produce the body part. The 6,000-ton Gigapress comes in two types, one that produces the front of the car and the other producing the rear end. Though Tesla has quite a few exotic models of vehicles that it produces, this Gigapress is only used for the production of Model Y. If you're wondering what the 6,000 stands for, well that's the clamping force that's used while producing the front or back unit of the car. These two types of Gigapresses are located in two different factories, while the front of the car is being produced at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin, the rear end of the car has been produced at Giga Fremont and Giga Shanghai. Thus, the factories being so far parked from each other poses a major disadvantage, resulting in wastage of time and money and transportation and other related costs that come about in getting these two parts to the same location. Furthermore, Giga Texas still isn't ready with its setup and was only set up quite recently. Due to this, the manufacturing of the front end here has been delayed. The next one is the 8,000-ton Gigapress. If you're a Tesla fan and have been following the news religiously, you definitely would be aware of the hype behind Elon Musk's highly awaited Cybertruck. Due to the 6,000-ton Gigapress having a lower clamping force, the 8,000-ton Gigapress would be used to produce the rear end of the Cybertruck. Idra is already in the process of producing this massive equipment, and it's just a short amount of time before Tesla will be using this to produce the insanely robust Cybertruck. To understand the working mechanism behind the 8,000-ton Gigapress and the 6,000-ton Gigapress, let's take a look at similar piece of equipment by IDRA, the Express 700. The marvelous Express 700 is a Gigapress machine that comes with functionality quite similar to what Tesla uses in their factories. The Express 700 comes with an injection system flexibility, providing a toggle system and a servo system that powers up the hydraulic system which is also known for its energy-saving benefits. The turnkey die-casting cell is also a major component of this ensemble. To top this all off, the Express 700 comes with some pretty cool features, such as its peripheral integration that is quite flexible and in the process helps aid Tesla to reach optimization in producing their cars. The next one is the majestic 12,000-ton Gigapress. Creating two parts of a chassis and then putting them together is great, but creating one chassis along with the undercarriage is a total game-changer to the world of automobiles 
And that's exactly what IDRA's 12,000-ton Gigapress does. In simple terms, the way this model of the Gigapress would be used is very similar to how a toy car is produced. The technology to do so on the larger scale is possible, and this model of the Gigapress when ready can easily produce 5,000 car units per day. This means that the productivity in out would be 1.5 times more than what the previous Gigapress that was being used was offering. This would in turn rack up Tesla with profits worth trillions. This will be quite encouraging for all the countries to get their hands on this vehicle, maybe even beating Toyota's records in the process. The machine will not only boost up production by a massive percentage, but also help in better design change in one that comes with fewer wear and tears. It has been calculated that this Gigapress holds the ability to produce a body part every minute or two. Thus, instead of two 6,000-ton Gigapresses being used to produce the car, just one can do the trick. This is something that has not been done or even thought of by any of the other automakers in the industry, giving Tesla a major competitive advantage over the other contenders. Now, let's look at the industry advantages of the 12,000-ton Gigapress. The 12,000-ton Gigapress comes with many advantages, a few of them being quick and efficient chassis production by fastening the car production speed by around 25%. The Gigapress will help reduce the cost of the underbody on the rear end by around 60%. Also, the production of a single chassis will help reduce the vehicle's body size by 40%. Just like most machines, the Gigapress will also face downtime, but beats its predecessors and other machines used for this process by a whopping 10%. During this time, human labor that was previously used for menial tasks would be optimized to perform highly important tasks. Furthermore, wear and tear costs are cut down. In addition to this, it'll be eradicating the use of chassis part joints entirely. Instead, it would aid in producing an entire chassis, which would further improve the speed and efficiency in production when compared to what the 8,000-ton Gigapress and the 6,000-ton Gigapress produce. Furthermore, this piece of equipment is lightweight and comes with a simpler production process. It's also pretty cost-efficient, which is a major benefit to not only the company, but also the customers, as they would be able to get their hands on these vehicles at affordable prices. Experts from JP Morgan have further added that 40% of labor costs have been saved by Tesla, all thanks to the production of a single chassis, as opposed to the traditional way of producing a car. Alignment issues have been further eradicated by a good 40% due to this reason. Now, let's look at Tesla's current stand in the market cap with Gigapress. Tesla has been quite a tough company to beat, and it stands at a quite high precision in the market, with its fellow competitors far behind in terms of technology and innovation. 2021 has been a tough year for all the industries, especially for the automobile industry, due to people not needing to purchase a new car when all were locked indoors due to the pandemic. But it's not the case with Tesla. Tesla survived the wrath of the pandemic pretty well. And as it gained further stability with the Gigapresses, standing as constant motivation and support for the company. Tesla has a goal of being able to produce 20 million vehicles per annum by 2030, and if they proceed to go on at this rate, they'll definitely be able to reach it and may even surpass their target goal. Tesla and IDRA have been working hand-in-hand hand for quite a while now and have been doing great with their collaborative efforts. 2021 is just a small chapter in Tesla's book of achievements, and it's bound to get bigger and bigger in time. The Gigapress has given Tesla the gift of stability, which in turn will have quite a positive effect on the company's global market share. Tesla's competitors have a lot to think about and act quickly on, as Tesla is moving forward, taking massive strides that are hard to catch up or even keep up with. With the world knowing about Tesla and the Gigapress, the competitors have to come out with a machine that can do even better to win the competition. So, what are your thoughts in the new 12,000-ton Gigapress? Do you think IDRA will come out with a new model in a few months that can beat the performance level of the 12,000-ton Gigapress? Share it in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.